Someone asked how this 3D printer worked and I thought it might be easier to show rather than tell. It starts with a program on your computer where you design and lay out your item for printing. This is not the actual item right here, uh, but it's very close. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. So uh, the uh, file is then moved uh, via USB cable to your printer and you can see the uh, progress status right there on the printer itself. It uses some plastic filament. It comes in a spool. It looks like a um, uh, weed eater line, kind of. You can see it right there. There's another shot of a, a spool that's almost empty. You see it comes in different colors, so you can print lens caps or whatever you're printing in different colors. And uh, it goes up from this spool, the filament does, and you can see a white tube in the back. That's just there to guide the, um, the line to the top of the unit. I have the top of the unit off right now. It goes into this very hot print head. Don't ask me how I know that this is hot, but trust me, it is. I guess the red sticker there should give it away. And you can't see it, but I promise that it is laying down a very thin line of melted plastic on each cap, just uh, one thin layer at a time and it's printing 18 caps at one time uh, right now. As we talk, you can see that these have a layer that these don't have yet. And it'll go through and do all 18, and when it does, then it'll start over here and, and start the next um, very thin layer. And then you have a uh, finished product like this. You see I have uh, lens caps already made here in six different colors. Um, I had seven. I'm out of purple right now. But you have professional gold, glossy black, high visibility translucent red, advanced silver, High sky blue, that's 399 feet, by the way, and in Dreamsicle. I'll also have a couple of other colors uh, later today, but that's the way they're made.